Okay, now for the next mounting aspect of an all-in-one uh, rail system. We're going to illustrate clamping it on to a parapet wall. With the rail height being the 42 inch height, on this particular parapet wall, it's measuring 33 inches. We can exceed the 42 inch height when it's mounted to a parapet wall as long as there is no more than a 21 inch gap anywhere. So what we will do is we'll mount it set the bottom rail at approximately 42 inches plus or minus three for the OSHA compliancy and then the top rail we will just float it in a few inches above that. Now for the clamping aspect of this we've got mounting pads here that are a non-mar polyurethane pad to where it will not mar the sides of your building and these are adjustable in and out they will screw in and out in the event that you have a detail at the top of your coping or your parapet wall on the outside, this will allow you to adjust for that and make sure that your post is standing in a perfectly vertical position. Again, we'll take our clamp out of the post, slide it into the clamp socket here. then set it up on the wall and you'll want to set it down to where the clamp is just riding on the top of your parapet wall push your clamp in snug and then lock it in place stow your pin so you do not lose it and then when we tighten these down there are no specific torque specs because every wall will be constructed differently. What we need to do is snug it up. If you've got a drive it type wall on the outside, you cannot put as much torque on these posts or it will crack the wall substrate. Or if you have got sheet metal, you can over torque at that point. Once you get it snugged up, as long as your post does not deflect more than two inches in and out, you're satisfactory. At this point, you will have side to side motion. As soon as the whole rail system is put together, that the integrity of the system will take that out. Now what we are setting up here is to get our 42 inch rail height with our bottom rail which at that point right there is right at your 42 inch height. I've got approximately an 18 inch gap in between my rails. So I'm 100% OSHA compliant right here with this set setup. As you're moving on, you wanna take your rails and they just snap right on with a, just a simple scaffold drop lock pin. They are secure, they will not fall out. You want to make sure that your pins are always facing your work surface to where as you apply pressure to the rail, it is pushing against the post and not onto your drop lock. I will also set my top rail, stage it on the wall, pick up my next clamp set up, Set it up on your wall, take your rails, snap them into place and that will automatically set your distance between rails. Once you've got this set up, there is no need for a tape measure any longer. Once you get your rail heights determined, and you get your first post set up, your rails will make your spacing. 
A standard solid rail is going to be in 10 foot lengths with the steel rails. If you're going with the two before or wood rail, you have, you're limited to an eight foot span. We do have adjustable rails such as this one right here in various lengths to cover everything from 29 inches up through 10 feet in three different lengths. And they will slide in and out. Those are ideal for when you get to the corner that you can set your post with a 10 foot rail and then fill in all the way into your corner with your next rail.